Bang! Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, your daily cryptocurrency and blockchain aggregated news source on YouTube. Blue warning, warning. There'll be excessive alcohol use, tobacco use, and swearing. Run now if you can't handle it, because here I come. Three, two, one. Bang! Welcome. My name is Shamari. Boom. All right. Look, look, look. We have a good show for you tonight, guys. Welcome. I hope you all had a great weekend. Actually, I know it's Tuesday when everyone's watching this now, isn't it? So, <laughs> I guess that's a little bullshit. Anyways, whatever. I was trying to keep it to me the weekend. Anyway, whatever. So, bang, bang, bang. Three stories tonight. We have Dash. Bang. These are Dash and Electronium. They're becoming my favorites in the third world, man. I'm liking these guys. Uh, yeah, I like what they're doing. I like what they're doing. So, Dash, text-based payments. Bang. Oh, and here we go. Ripple lovers. Ripple lovers. Bang, bang, bang. Ripple hodlers. We have the news for you tonight. Man, I'm going to get fueled for that one. <laughs> yes. Bang. X Rapid plus the Swift GPI upgrade. What did you say, Shamari? Oh, I see you Ripple lovers right now going crazy at home. What did Shamari just say? What did, what did, what did Shamari just say? Wait, 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 wait. X Rapid plus the Swift, the Swift GPI upgrade. And Temenos? Oh, here we go, brothers. But you got to wait. You got to wait. You have to wait for that one. Bang. Second story. And then bang, bang, though. What I give a fuck about. Bang, bang, bang. One of my brothers told me. One of the brothers told me, man, your binoculars are good. <laughs> they are good, brother. They're CIA issued. Bang. Alien technology. Bang. And they see tsunamis are coming. Bang. And that's what Shamari rocks. SEC guidance and regulations coming. What have we been waiting for? It's so fucking weird, right? Like, <laughs> you know, things go through regular order. You know, the politicians go in committee. Do do do. They get the they get the experts. Boom boom boom. Then they propose legislation. They bring it to the floor. They vote. Boom boom boom. They give it to the regulators. This regulator, this SEC guy, he's like. This is how we're going to do some shit. <laughs> Yo. So look, 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 look. Crypto brothers. Bang. This is some sweet business. Bang. So. Oh, brothers, man, let's just get to this shit. Bang. Yes, let's get to it. Bang, bang, bang. Look at that. Let's go to our top 10 cryptos. Are we here? Yes. Top 10 cryptos of the day, Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Bitcoin Cash, EOS, Stellar, Litecoin, Cardano, Monero, and Tether. Bang! Oh, 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 oh. Who is that? Wait, wait. Where'd that go? Bang! Look at how Monero took the number nine from Tether. Tether got dropped today. Bang! Oh, they're getting canned. They're getting dissed. They're getting crushed. I heard all these exchanges are starting to take circles, stablecoin. Bang, 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 Tether. Oh, that's what happens. That's what happens. As soon as you show signs of weakness, rawr, the wolves come, buddy. Tether, they had a good run, but I'm not sure if they're going to last. All right, all right. And I'll say this then on defense of Tether. They said they had a new bank in the Bahamas, and the bank in the Bahamas came out and said that Tether has the money in it. I don't know. That's too late now, brother. That's too late now, buddies. Now let's look at, oh, what are we dealing with? Oh, yeah, yeah. So single digits up to single digits down. Bang, bang, bang. Single digits up to single digits down. Single digits up to single digits down. Single digits up to single digits down. All right, let's look at our top 10 losers of the day. Let's see what's on sale today, my brothers. Bang. Top 10 on sale, Polymath, Chainlink, Arc, Ravencoin, Walton Chain, Funfair, Aurora, Loom Network, Loop Ring, and bang, one chain. Let's see who's making money. Bang, there's the ripples. XRP, oh, because that's the story I'm about to read you. <laughs> XRP, Wax, Madesafe Coin, Cardano, Stellar, Stellar, Metaverse, CTP, Mixin, Tron, Monocoin, and Mithril. Now, let's look at our total market cap, 214, so a little bit up. Six billion, like who gives a shit? That's nothing. Uh, volume a little bit up as well. Remember, I think we got all the way down to what? 
9.8 last week in terms of volume. So we're at 13.5 right now. Billion in terms of daily volume. Uh, great. Now, bang, dash. Now, this is interesting. I told you guys, I'm liking this dash shit. Uh, I mean, well, in terms of, I believe that's where this whole cryptocurrency stuff in terms of mass adoption, in terms of paying for stuff is going to happen is in the third world, right? Like, like I said, if you're stupid enough to buy a, a, a Starbucks coffee with your, your Bitcoin, you don't deserve to have that money. You know, like, give me a break. That coffee is going to be like $50. It would have been $50 worth if you just waited a year. But for these guys in the third world, whose currencies and governments are in flux all the time, having some sort of stable uh, store of value that doesn't go with the economic or you know military, whatever, goings on of the day is a valuable thing. And that's what's happening for these Venezuelans. And Dash, as we read... Well, you can already just do everything in Venezuela with your Dash, but remember a couple of weeks ago we read Dash is doing, it's with uh, Ghana and Nigeria, and uh, now they're moving over to, oh, Liberia, not Ghana, Liberia and Nigeria, and now they're moving over to uh, Asia, and that's the thing, like, when they go somewhere, they don't fuck around. Like, they're like, let us use, you know, like, let our shit be used in your whole country. And it gets used in the whole country. It's not like, oh, just McDonald's takes Dash. No, the whole country. Anyways, watch. We'll read. Crypto Project Dash has announced the launch of Dash Text, an SMS-based cryptocurrency transaction service for Venezuelan users as it builds on its already strong presence in the crypto-dependent country. In an announcement released this week, the company said that Dash Text eliminates the need for Venezuelan users to possess smartphones and internet access to carry out crypto transactions, which has historically been a significant barrier to adoption in the impoverished countries suffering from hyperinflation. So, you know, da uh, Venezuela, you know, their dollar is hyperinflating. Like, a loaf of bread might be... Uh, five Venezuelan dollars bolivars they're called today. Yeah, yeah. You go to the fucking store the next week, it might be 50. Like, boom, inflation is... The IMF said that they're going to have 1 million percent inflation this year. That's why all the people are running over to Colombia and stuff, right? It's just crazy. Driven by several months of hyper in, hyperinflation, so that's what's called hyperinflation, where it costs you so much to buy stuff all the time, more and more, uh, which has rendered the Bolivar, that's the Venezuelan dollar, the Bolivar, practically worthless. Venezuelans have increasingly turned to cryptocurrencies as a solution and has been, as has been illustrated by a series of well-published incidents. Dash is looking to build on the successes of recorded in cashing in on the trend by targeting millions of Venezuelans who are not able to participate in the crypto economy because they do not own smartphones or they cannot access the internet. The solution to this problem was built in partnership with BlockCypher, which specializes in blockchain solutions and blockchain agnostic products that enable users to engage with multiple cryptocurrencies through one platform. Currently in beta testing, Dash Text will enable users of Movistar and Digital, Venezuela's two largest telecom providers, to access Dash services via a simple oh dash services via a simple five digit short code all right we're actually gonna have to read this because i don't even understand that how can you do this without a cell phone speaking about the unique demand that gave rise to dash text bradley zastrow excuse me global head of develop uh business development of, at dash core said velen's way Venezuelans living abroad send an estimated $2 billion worth of American dollars back home in remittances. This process often takes too long and costs too much, making it a huge pain point for many users. With Dash Text, we are providing real solutions to address real problems. People need easy and cheap ways to send money home, and we've done it in a way that, that expands 
the Dash ecosystem to those without smartphones. Well, how do you send a text without a smartphone? Dash Text offers the perfect solution to ensure that everyone can become part of the Dash family, regardless of what phone people will own. What? According to the announcement, to get registered on Dash, Dash Text, users should send an SMS with the word Dash to 22625. Well, how do you send an SMS without a phone, you fuck? Oh, I guess what they're saying, without a smartphone, but you can have one of these older shitty phones, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the other thing. That's the other thing I forgot to mention. Like in Africa, yeah. I told you, they do have 4G network and shit. Uh, but not all of them do have smartphones. That's right, smartphones. But they all have phones, so you can, like, send money to each other. Uh, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, now I get it. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, where are we at? Followed by another SMS with the word CREAR, which will create their Dash wallet. Once this is done, the user will be able to send and receive Dash seamlessly via SMS, which could potentially be huge for the sizable population of Venezuelans who use feature phones or lack reliable internet access. Well, how do you get your fiat in there? It will be recalled that in August, CCN reported that Dash recorded a sharp price and volume increase as a result of its successful adoption push in Venezuela, which saw it sign up several prominent retailers across the country. It also penned a deal with Crypto Mobile, a maker of mobile phones that are pre-equipped with Dash wallets. Oh, you see how that shit is? They're selling pre-equipped Dash phones uh, in a deal that was predicted to make the cryptocurrencies monthly users grow rise to 10,000 bang all right bang dash lovers oh here you go ripple lovers oh man i gotta i gotta have a drink for this one but look look, look let's stick with this for a second but that's what's amazing like <clears throat> yeah i forgot about that uh, i told you about that the chinese are sewing up every place with 4g and everything but the phones that they sell people like they sell people phones that are like five dollars here like so that's true they're not all smart phones they some of them are still like these kind of old flip phone type things and so what dash is doing is as long as you can send a text fuck you can send some money so that's awesome you know what i've told you guys i believe when it comes to mass adoption people actually using crypto in their day-to-day -day lives it'll be it'll happen in africa south america and asia first the third world I told you already, in Africa, they already just make payments with their phones. In China, every place has a QR code. Boop, 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 boop. I gave you guys those articles to read this weekend, actually, right? Did you guys read them? At least the first one was the real one that I wanted you to read. Yeah, the lady went to China with cash. <laughs> she could hardly live. That's the future of the world. And it's stuff like this that's the future, at least for the third world. All right, but bang, bang, ripple lovers. Here you go. Is this true? Bang! Oh, oh, oh shit. XRP powered X Rapid and Ripple get pushed for adoption through upcoming Swift GPI upgrade. And Tomenos? Ooh. Let's look, brothers. Let's look. So I see what they're trying to do here. All right, let's read and then we'll talk. Well, then I'll talk. <laughs> And this is only a guy's opinion, okay? So this isn't news, but it's a possibility of what could happen. The aftermath of the launch of XRapid, Ripple's technology to utilize XRP for cross-border payments, has left many retail investors dissatisfied. This is due to the effect that the launch had no effect on the price. Anyways, whatever, whatever. We know this is an immature market. Fuck the price. The price will be the price when, bang, the real boys get here. What are the important players... For the adoption of X Rapid among banks is not only financial institutions using X Current, but also a company known as Tamanos. This is what you guys keep preaching about Tamanos, Tamanos. <laughs> Do you even know what Tamanos does? Not a bunch of them, not a fucking one of you does. <laughs> Tamanos is a company that offers back end software solutions. What back end solutions? What back end solutions? Do you know? Do you know? 
Not in one of you know. Software solutions for banks and works with over 3,000 companies worldwide. <laughs> more interesting, more interestingly, 41 out of the top 50 banks in the world are its clients. Of what? Which include the likes of JP Morgan, Bank of Capital, and the Bank of Shanghai. Bang! The company also has a partnership with Repol, providing a valuable infrode into the existing financial system without needing to get their hands dirty, so to speak. Yeah, they're not going to have to build their own blockchain or anything. They can just offer the service, which is amazing. And that is good for Ripple lovers like y'all, hodlers. Um, it, you know, like we were talking about the other day, like I said, I was talking about with Desert Garden. Ripple, it doesn't matter if people are going to use the XRPs or not. What matters is that the company itself keeps growing its service footprint, so to speak. You know, all of these are just blockchain services companies. So all of these companies have to do something for someone, right? Okay, your platform tokens, sure, sure, sure. Your ICOs in that, but you're doing something for someone. That's the service. You're giving them a platform to do an ICO. All of these are blockchain services companies. You have to service someone. And as long as, this is what I want to say, and uh, as long as Ripple is, Ripple Labs even, is servicing more and more customers, I don't see why Ripple XRPs won't go up. Except for the fact, and that's what I was telling you about, except for the fact that they've, they've made themselves separate and that they own so many, what, they own 60% of the Ripples. So we'll see how it goes, but anyway, food for thought. All right, so look, 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 guys. Timeno's latest banking solution known as T24 Core utilizes ledger agnostic technology developed by Ripple, and they have fully integrated it into T24 by utilizing a feature known as Blue Zelly or Blue Zell uh, Altitude Gateway. That's fancy. They also utilize an API known as Iris, which allows customers to process an outbound cross-border payment through their backend, get the best Forex rate, issue payments through the Altitude Gateway, and settle and reconcile payments sent through RippleNet. <laughs> Convoluted, but it works. As Tomatoes provides a solution for the back end of banks, they will also make it easier for an institution or bank to switch if they want to. As they are already partnered with Ripple, they will also be a fast and coefficient integration with XRapid, further quickening the pace with which XRapid will be adopted. Well, if XRapid is adopted, bang, this will help it out. This could also be, hold on, man. We got to hurry the fuck out around these parts. All right. Swift. Oh, and that's the shit. Oh, yeah, today. So this is good for Ripple, but also, anyway, hold on. Oh, hold on. Swift has also begun implementing the changes required for their GPI upgrade, which is due for launch on November 18th. Uh, one of the biggest changes in the platform is the change to UETR, or Unique End-to-End transaction reference according to a statement from swift from 18th november 2018 all banks will, re will be required to include the unique end-to-end -end transaction reference in their payment instructions irrespective of whether or not they have adopted gpi or are executing gpi payments however temenis also promises its clients with updates on time for the same stating bang so basically uh, Swift is changing the rules. They're going to make these people do something here on November 18th. And Tim Menos is like, yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. We're going to be good for that update, for that upgrade. So stick with us in layman's terms. <laughs> Swift message standards for outward. Oh, so this is what Swift says right here. Swift message standards for outward and inward messages are supported. They're supported. The Swift upgrade It's supported. Every year, new Swift standards are incorporated into our platform, well before the live date, giving users ample time for clients to familiarize themselves. In other words, Swift runs the place, and if you use us, we're going to give you the upgrades to Swift well before the upgrades, giving you time to familiarize yourself. This effectively allows RippleNet to plug into the same API through the processing of various payment codes that are integrated into its technology. Moreover, with the launch of multi-hop payments, X Rapid and Ripple, have become more of a viable option for banks. Uh, uh, all right. 
So while it's almost certainly impossible for XRP to reach a value of $589 by the end of this year, the quick integration of XRapid and other benefits indirectly offered by Swift GPI to RippleNet will ensure that this will prove to be a very exciting year for a the third largest cryptocurrency. So bang, there you are, Ripple lovers. So they're not gonna they're not gonna be uh, taking over Swift. They're gonna be using Swift, Swift's new GPI thing, and we'll see again. Uh, what are they going to be doing for these banks with Temenos? Uh, they're still using a Swift GPI, so it's no takeover of anything. And uh, again, we got to see. Uh, they Do they partner with some Fortune 500 companies or not? Bang. All right. So, bang. This is what I love. The money, money, money. One of you guys showed me this one. Who is it? Bang. Where is he? Bang, there you are, DP Entertainment. Bang, damn, brother, you have some good binoculars, he said. <laughs> That's what I told you. Bang, bang, look, 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 look. And I had to answer him. I told him, look, look. Gentlemen, when you're watching this, guys, I'm using my, I said, ha, 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 yeah, bro. My CIA issued using the newest of our classified alien technology. How do you think I know? How do you think I know that there's a bumba clot? wave of money coming i've got the alien tech sons i'm way way further than you all <laughs> all right brothers let's go bang the use oh and this is the good shit what are we even complaining about would you just tell them whether the securities are not for crying out loud sec says they're going to do it brothers Mwah. they say they're going to do it i don't want to get anyone too happy because he didn't say when they're going to do it but he said they're going to do it so let's just read on and revel in this at least. <laughs> the, Euro, the US SEC plans to clarify when and how cryptocurrencies may be classified as securities, its director of corporate finance said Monday. Speaking at the DC FinTech Week conference, SEC director William Hinman said the regulatory agency intends to release plain English guidance for developers to refer to when planning token offerings. Plain English. If you're doing this, you're a security. If you do this, you're a commodity. Thank you. This guidance will help such developers determine on their own whether any potential token offering may be classified as a security or not. According to Hinman, though it's not clear when the guidance will be published. That's the problem. When is it going to be published? For fuck's sakes, can we get on with this? But, but at least uh, this is a director talking about it, so that means they've been discussing within the agency, so good, good, good. No, let's not complain. <laughs> Hemman explained at the event, we also will be putting out more guidance. The idea is a plain English instrument that people can look at, and they'll bring together sort of my homie meets Gary speech and that analysis. So, oh, Howie, my bad, not homie. What the fuck are you talking about? Howie, you know, the Howie rules, that's what makes something a, if, if, you're, if, you're, if your thing meets the Howie rules, it becomes a security. I don't know what the Gary speech part is, but the Howie rules are what they de they use to decide if you're a security or not. Uh, uh, go to Investopedia and look that up. Uh, we'll elaborate on that in a very plain English way. So do I think I have a security offering? Well, look at that guidance, and you should be able to sort things out. It's plain English, not in any lawyer speak. Um, once you determine whether you have a security, we're going to have in that guidance... How do I go about registering? So they're going to make it easy. All right, you're a security. Here, come here and register. How do I go about registering? And how do I go about doing exempt offering? So maybe you decide, hmm, I'm not one of those. How do I exempt an ICO? Oh, and I'm going to tell you right now, China today cracked down on their ICOs again. Oh, remember what I told you guys? I don't know if you guys know this, but you see all these airdrops we're doing with Bob, from Bob? Well, from them, but through Bob. Do you know, they, they do ICOs, it's to get around this thing here. They don't want to be viewed as securities. So somehow by giving airdrops, they get around being um, classified as securities. <laughs> China today was like, nice try, fuckers. China cracked down on their, their airdroppers. Wow. They said they're about to crack down on their airdroppers. So, man, you better be airdropping if you're in China fast, because that's over with. 
Look, look, look. That's regulation, bitches. Anyway, why am I bringing that up? Anyways, uh, the issues of the SEC examining include accounting, custody, and token valuation. He went on to explain. Some of the draft registration statements sent to the to the regulators so far have similarly touched on these concerns. I think we could try to bring that together and share that. We want to share that a little bit more transparently. Yeah, they want to tell everybody what everything is. Yeah, transparently so everybody knows. The guidance will also address second market transactions as part of an effort to give developers and entrepreneurs clarity on how the SEC might look at tokens post initial offering. So, right, the, the, the ICO is the initial offering and so they're saying, blah, 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 you're probably gonna, well, they're gonna give you this nice, what did he say? In plain English rule book to tell you what you're gonna be classified as, but they're also gonna give, what does it say? The guidance will also address secondary markets. So after the ICO is done, now what are you? Remember I was telling you guys, yeah, as a as a ICO, maybe you are a security, you know, but then maybe post ICO, once your main net is up and it's decentralized, maybe now you're an asset because no one entity controls it anymore, right? Though they kind of still do in a way. Oh man. Anyway, I'm not a regulator and that's why I'm happy. But uh yeah, so um, but they're gonna give the clarity on how to do it now. When asked about how the SEC might classify a token sale as a securities offering, Hinman elaborated by noting that the agency would be looking at factors such as the expectation as a return on investment. Blah, 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 blah. That's the whole Howie shit. Blah, blah, blah. blah. We're not going to get into that. But, but, bang, bang, bang. Hinman himself declared in June of this year that, in his view, Ether, the cryptocurrency of bang the ethereum network is in the security and that's why your bitcoins your litecoins your ethereums your bitcoin caches bitcoin bitcoin cash ethereum and litecoins are going to be huge because they're already not securities they're already bang commodities all right let's do our shout outs and airdrops bang there's the master bob so get these airdrops that i'm telling you guys about Go to Bob, at Bob, 844-11320, read the top three tutorials, and dive in. Bang. And I got mine this weekend, so I'm feeling nice. There's Bob, 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 Bob. Bob, 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 Bob. Bang. Oh, and there's the DP Entertainment. Bang. See you, brother. And he's like, brother, you have some good binoculars. <laughs> so now I know you actually watch the show. You're not just a Twitter guy. Bang. My binoculars are CIA-issued alien technology, people. This stuff is... You got to be an 18-year trader like me to even get your hands on this kind of stuff. Bang! Here's a here's a here's a here's an airdrop. Go get it. Quantum protocol. Bob gives it. Bang! DJ Pollywood. What? Bang! All right, but that's Pollywood. Oh, he changed his shit. He had a cool DJ thing going on. Now he's a little psychedelic. Bang! All right, he's feeling himself. Oh, look at this son of a bitch right here. Airdropper seven seven seven. Bang! Son of a bitch. Bang! See you, brother. All right. Who else we got? Man, we got the brothers. Tronquez. See? This son of a bitch comes in two forms. Like a like a shapeshifter. <laughs> like a shapeshifting creature. Look, look, look. Bang. Cousin David. All right. You're over here now. You were in the uh in the uh what do you call that? The comments of the YouTube thing. Cool. Bang. What do we got? Oh, there's the minister of Information, J. Will, bang, see you, brother. Bang, Alex, Lans, Lansboro. Oh, those are some nice planes right there, son. See, that's the kind of shit I'm going to get. I'm going to get a fat plane when I get rich. Bang, Edwin, there he is. And there's the bang, bang, bang from the 007. All right, guys, bang and Mac. All right, let's move it on. We are being silly. Bang, though. That was a nice plane, though. Look at this guy's shit. Bang. You see that plane? I'm going to have a plane. I don't give a fuck about cars. I don't give a fuck about boats. But a plane, I do want when I get my millions. Bang. All right. Let's go to our bang. And let's go to our bang. And then shill it and kill it. Bang. Guys, I love you guys. You know, this is my favorite part of the day. Oh, it's already 314. Actually, I'm late to work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 15 minutes late to work.
I'm a forex trader, so my 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 workday starts at three British time, West Coast Europe time. So I'm late to work, guys. I gotta go. Bang. Uh, my favorite time of the day. Subscribe, press the bell, guys, guys, guys. It's Shamar Clock. Lock, 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 lock. I love doing this shit. And bang, bang, bang. What do we got? We got the SEC giving us their guidance soon. Uh. Oh, and there you Ripple lovers. Bang, bang, bang. Getting your Ripple used. And Dash. Good for the third world. Good for the poor people. Love them. Bang. This is Clark. I'm always on duty. Bang. Over and out.